Hey, what's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Well, here we are once again. Another episode of The Everyday Kitchen. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Hey, hey, what? Say! My kung fu is strong. Anyway, guys, welcome. Glad to be here and I'm glad to be seen. We have a kind of a different, kind of the same, kind of a different take on what I'm cooking today. I don't have a whole lot of anything to choose from. What I'm going to do is I'm going to treat myself to a protein packed uh, meat centric supper tonight I don't have any asparagus or Brussels sprouts or any kind of fresh anything and cabbage and anything amazing I don't have anything great like that so I'm gonna basically just center it around meat okay so let's take a look at what we're gonna do first of all we have a can of green beans we have long grain rice we have two pieces of chicken, a piece of cod, and a steak. Okay. Also, in this bowl, I have leftover onions and peppers kind of cooked from last night. So gonna have just kind of a nice little smoigus boig of meats and that should help fuel my muscles right ah, muscles arr, arr. Yeah. let's go ahead and I don't know open a can come on open a can So unfortunately, I don't have any uh, aluminum foil. I'm going to cook my cod in the oven and uh, I don't have any aluminum foil. So number one, you can check your junk drawer to see if you have any leftover scraps of aluminum foil. I can confirm there is no aluminum foil in that junk drawer. So, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Guys, I'm going to put the cod in this pan. Then, I'm going to cover that pan up with another pan. Mike, what does that do? Well, that holds in the moisture about as well as you're going to do. You gotta work around stuff. Now, I could have cooked this cod on the stove in a pan like I did last time. But, I don't feel like doing that. I'm gonna do it in the oven. We got two more meats we're gonna cook up on top and plus the green beans and all that stuff. So, I'm being kinda choosy what I do. See this right here? That makes a pretty good little dressing to spice up your fish and stuff like that. So let's put a little bit on. Let me get the camera down here so you can see!
You amazing human being. Why did you put water in that pan? Well, it'll help keep the fish moist and keep it from sticking to the pan and it'll just keep things kind of loosened up and and uh, steam things a little bit and yeah so you can put your oven on about 375 right now I got it kicked up to 390 just so it'll get kind of going and get stuff going because this is gonna take a lot longer than my chicken and steak so we're gonna wait on this for a while and then we'll get back in here to it guys see you then many hours later Alright guys, we are ready to eat. Did you see that big plate of yumminess? Look at that. I broke out the big servant plate. Oh yeah. Oh man. Mm. That's going to give me plenty of muscle building fuel, guys. Made some rice to go with the leftover onions and peppers and a little bit of rice that I had from last night. I just made a little bit more rice to go with it. Got the cod, got a steak, got chicken. It don't get no better, guys. Guys, 
I hope you enjoyed watching this uh, little video. Something the same but kind of different. It's just I'm adding uh, like different meats together and just going to enjoy the whole thing, guys. Don't be scared to do that. Meat's good for you. In moderation. Certain kind of meats. It's all good. Don't freak out, guys. We're going to make it. All right? Hope you enjoyed this episode of The Everyday Kitchen. Don't forget, check out the playlist. Look at all my videos in the playlist. I have all kind of stuff from this to that and this, that, this, and that, and the other. All right, you're going to find something that you like. Then, when you've done that, go check out my other channel, Old Mental Pickle. That's where I live stream video games only. Like, share, subscribe, comment to that as well. Why not? What do you got to lose? You doing something special with that subscribe button? Subscribe to my channels. Get me out there. I'm the most amazing guy on the internet. <laughs> All right? Don't be scared to try cooking at home. Quit relying on all these restaurants to do it for you. Do it at home. It's easy. It's simple. It's fun. And if I can do it on the everyday kitchen, you can do it in yours. We'll see you guys later. I'm fixing to go eat this up. And then in about an hour, hit the old weights. All right, get up, get out, get rad, do it to it, because I'm fixing to. We'll see y'all later. Get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it.